Hello, everyone. This Hello. Is... Hey. Hi. Good evening. I am Mr. K, and with me I have... DK28. Salard1. Herblet2. And Hyde Rage. Three. Hyde Rage 3. <laughs> What's with the 28, oh, yeah. man? You're way off, DK. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys made me go first. You, you kind of... Like, that's like a low blow. <laughs> The so warming room, I do things in sync. <laughs> All right, so what we got here, okay? Uh, so this is Contra 4. This is the last good Contra game they've made in a really long time. And by they, I mean shoutouts to the good people at Way Forward who made this. Shoutouts? Have you played Horcrap Racing? You know, it's not on a Nintendo system, so no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's big. It's actually good. I'm I'm loving the running animation. It's just so crisp. That running animation is really solid. I like it a lot. Jump height is a little lacking, though, but it's all right. Yeah, but the step forward with it, it reminds me of, like, the step forward we took with Rostin. It's just magnificent. It looks more like he's stomping stuff than running. He is. He's so aggressive. He's... He's angry at the ground. It's Red Falcon's fault. Yeah, what's with the Black Viper? Never understood that. Uh, Black Viper's actually the villain from Operation C. Oh, callbacks. So, um, he was <laughs> a defenseless creature behind a glass jar, but I... Oh. Mercilessly oh, okay. assassinated? <laughs> but he kind of came back. Which kind of reminds me, it's, I guess, kind of fitting that the person who does the Operation C speedrun would return to get revenge on Black Viper in Contra 4. So this is Operation C2? Yes. Revenge? <laughs> the return of evil Sup forces. Oh, super. Right. <laughs> Don't <forget> super. <laughs> super Operation C2. Hmm. Makes sense. The Alien Wars. Yeah. Dual so. spirits. <laughs> Dual. <laughs> Which is the Japanese name for this game. Oh, right, yeah. Because oh, you know, Contra 3 is Contra Spirits. And th this is Contra, i got to ask you, hey, what difficulty are we playing this on? Um, the bottom well, one. There's only one, so I don't know. <laughs> the one where you have to scavenge around to get your weapons upgraded. <laughs> So do you have any random jump height in this initial uh, stage? There is no lag. There is no random jump height in this game. That sounds terrific. Yeah, the mechanics of this game are really, really straightforward. They're almost way forward. <laughs> <laughs> I see. No. Delicious pun. Delicious pun. I thought it was quite bitter, actually. <laughs> You know, I have to get technical and ask, especially since you're going up, how hard is it to mess with the dual screen with that split? Okay, um, this stage here, um, what you just saw, especially around here, um, so the those random spawns, they come on cliffs, and if the cliff happens to be in that gap, you can miss someone very easily. And then... Uh, there's another rough spot in stage 9, and that is the only part in which the split is a problem. Is the split to scale? I mean, uh, to how it is on the console? Yeah, yeah. And coming from the person who speedruns this game, if you think it's a problem in other areas, you're just wrong. <laughs> Well, it looks a little off because the screens are like on top, but when you're actually playing, it accounts for the fact that the screens have, what, like a three-quarter inch gap between them, right? Yeah, it's got that hinge, you know, when you're actually holding the DS. They thought of everything. So. Oh, violent. 
Yeah, this this game actually got rated a teen because of that probably that single stunt there. That was Vlad the Impaler goes alien. That's just. <laughs> So, fun fact is, uh, so this game's got a lot of different weapons, and they're pretty balanced. They've done a really good job. Well, sort of. <laughs> Before base stage. Yeah, except for the base stage. I don't know, that looked like the Teenage Mutant PCP Predator that you just killed. <laughs> <laughs> yep, with bad skin. So, um... You know, it's no secret that Heidman and her blad are running Contra these days, and they're uh, busting their tails, getting perfect spread rhythm, and mashing at uh, a perfect 12 hertz at the right frequency. In the meantime, um, kind of what I do is I, uh, you know, press Y. Stand in the middle and hold B. <laughs> or Y. I gotta look at my PS. Where is it? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I, just, I just fire one shot and it takes out all four of those guys and I kind of I don't have to be very precise and I can just kind of be in the general vicinity of the core and it'll die. You just need to be in the right half of the screen and yeah, you got it. It's kind of like hemispheres, you know. Yeah. As long well, as you... C, C is required to own everything. That's just the way it is. I think it's more of a quadrant thing. You just got to be in the general quadrant. Got to be, you know, yeah. I crush your general direction. <laughs> Come on, will this just submit? <laughs> I like how the core at the top is destroyed even before I get to the center of the screen. <laughs> Doesn't I, like how, I like how you're crushing the hopes and dreams of Red Falcon. It's Black Viper in this game, man. Get your facts straight. Sorry. Get your colors <laughs> Come on, man. It's not about color. You gotta it's keep up with a complicated, interwoven contra backstory, you know? It's like so complex. Yeah. It's so. works so well. Bill Riser, Aliens. Still a better love story than Twilight. <laughs> the tonic log can't exist between people of different species. <laughs> There's nothing more pure than a man's love for his rifle. Amen. Merka. <laughs> so what about a guy who rifles through stuff with his rifle? Uh, <clears throat> so <you're> just, just, <laughs> I mean, you are. You're just obliterating stuff before it even comes fully on screen. Yeah, I'm actually proud of that uh, submarine kill, um... I was trying to kind of rip off the task strategy, but I couldn't do it quite the same way, so uh, I found the right uh, position to come at it. Um, huh? Are those guys getting back up after you destroy them? Yeah, they are. That defies all logic of crush. I'm not, I'm not digging that. Nope. This is a fun part because um, you can cut a little, cut a few parts short, and... The other fun fact is if you're jumping forward, you can shoot up and move forward at the same time without stopping. So Only one Contra game that I know breaks that rule. Uh, Contra Alien Wars Advance? Okay, yeah. maybe two. <laughs> I only know of Contra Force that breaks that rule. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Contra Force. That breaks every rule of every game. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> what do we call it, Herblatt? Wait, what? What am I missing? What, what a beautiful disaster. A beautiful disaster. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> so when you're climbing on the rocket there and going up those lists, I mean, did the local Teamsters get mad at you fighting on the scaffolding? <laughs> or did you get, like, union approval for that? Um, I like to think that I had a, um, a worker's visa. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with that. So, um, yeah, missiles and whatnot. 
It wouldn't be Contra without them, right? You're riding a big missile, and little missiles are being fired at you. And you have a weapon that shoots missiles. Yes. Missiles, missileception. <laughs> the little flame uh, streams there are not random. You just memorize the pattern. Yeah, how I don't much think you have to memorize it. it. <laughs> well, I like to think you do. So how much randomness is there in this game, in general? Um, Stage 2. You know, they really preserved um, some of the... Oh, you thought you were safe, but it turns out you're not safe and you're dead kind of thing from the first Contra. <laughs> like, the game does some weird random stuff to you. Um, in Stage 1, you know how I was... Um, there's that little part where you're like, going forward, and you're, like, jumping from the bars up to the cliff. I felt like a spawn just, like, jump from the top of the cliff, like, come on the screen from the right side and be like, oh, you're dead. Like, what? Stage 5 pulls some weird stuff, too. <clears throat> some fishy stuff. Yeah, just look at that guy. It's kind of weird because in Contra 3, it's like, you kind of expect there to be, like, some bad randomness, and you want to expect yourself to deal with it, and it kind of feels like, oh, it's your fault. And then Contra 1, stuff just happens, and you're like, okay, stuff just happens. Yeah. Contra 4 just pulls the weirdest crap at the weirdest times, and it just messes with your head. Also, shoutouts to Crush, it just strips the meat right off those fish bones. <laughs> Poor fish. Sushi. <laughs> those guys just look like they drop down and drown. <laughs> <laughs> and you're killing them for a second time. That's a pretty double, cruel fade. It's a double tap. Yeah. Got to make sure. Yeah, there's a fish with a lazy eye. Or the laser eye. This is the dumbest boss in the game. You can't speed this one up at all. Really. It's just... Just shoot his eye a little bit and then... Wait. Yep. Pretty much. Speeding it up includes shooting him on the first frame that the eye is vulnerable, courtesy of our friend the laser. <laughs> that pretty much guarantees that, or? Yep. Nice. We like guarantees. So, DK, um, don't you think there's one specific pose that's missing right now? Uh, I'm guessing it's the LNR. Manly pose that's missing? Yeah, I agree. That's the pose. Well, it could be that, or it could be from a certain stage in Contra 3. I don't know. I don't know. Well, well, there were so many. I mean, there's, yeah. there's the corner. Well, there's, there's one that, There's one that's on a bike. You know, I, I, think we're get, I think we're moving into stage 6 now. I think <laughs> we should talk about stage 6. Let's talk about stage 6. All right, check out Crush here. I mean, just just look at this. Just, just stand in the middle. Just don't even get a move. Just look at. Th no, I see. I moved. You moved. You could have stopped. No, yeah, I wouldn't have hit the core movement. at the top left. Would not have hit the core at the top left. Well, I mean, like just before the bullets hit, you could have ducked and not even moved. And waited. You wouldn't have to wait for anything. No, if you're ducking, it doesn't hit at the tip-top left. Well, you already got the crush missiles on the way when the core is already open, so no, you wouldn't have had to wait at all. There wouldn't have been enough. It only takes, like, what, two? Hey, you're the last person I would expect to advocate ducking. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's more of the style points for not moving, left or right. In Contra, it's about not ducking. 
in this game, it's more of how long can I stand here and not move left or right. Uh, speed is speed. That's true. Speaking of uh, style, this uh, boss was uh, certainly a nice touch. Yeah. Gets a real disposable. Huh? I have to say, I think somebody decided that the base stages from the first Contra were too hard, so they wanted revenge with the upgraded guns. I swear that's what WayForward did. I don't think they're hard. <laughs> well, somebody thought it was because they made them even easier in this game. Yeah. Maybe they're they were compensating for having to play on a handheld. So, what's your uh, thought process on staying on going to top here instead of staying on bottom? Have you saw? Have you seen what kind of crap goes down at the bottom? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Because I stay on bottom when I play. Well, do you play on hard? I play on normal right now. Oh, oh man. man, that's that's a DK28 strat. You should not have gone there, high man. <laughs> hey, I'm still learning the game, all right? I can't, I'm not even speedrunning it. I'm trying to beat hey, it on normal right now. It took dude, me a long time to beat it on easy. You, you picked the wrong crowd to say it, man. Don't <laughs> take that hole in a deeper, just say it. Well, I'm not afraid to say it. I play, <laughs> play games normally like everyone else. I got to start from easy. I tried hard, and it could get out of the stage one for a long time. And <laughs> but it had, the, it had good music. It had the good music. Yeah, the hard music is way better than the normal music on stage one. Um, no, but seriously, about the bottom part, um, you have to be, you, you cannot turn around at all, because if you do, you won't be able to take out the, um, the gunners, and if stuff spawns behind you, which it will, then you're dead. Unless you stop. Right, but they run at the same pace as you, so you can outrun them and everything in front. You can just use laser. No, the red guys. The red guys shoot. Jump? No, if, if you jump, you don't take out the gunner. Really? Yeah. At that particular point, just, uh... Because I'm thinking, like, Super C mode. You know, like, uh... Um, yeah, but there's, stage like... Stage 3, the jungle. There's two you know, of them it, that are close together. Hmm. So, oh. yeah. I guess I'll have to tinker with it. By the way, I like that... Uh, <laughs> I <love> that dropping <laughs> on them. <laughs> I like that grapple dodge at the very start of that section. <laughs> that section gets really, really hairy. Is that chest hair? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's uh, ape hair. Yeah. Nice. Contra demands it. Yeah, I think I kind of didn't realize the laser uh, goes through the boss at that part. Wasn't expecting uh, you to be able to shoot him there. We didn't even get to see the whole part, the whole boss. Nope. <laughs> Into the hive. The hive as supposed to be there. We went over this on the last track. Yeah, I, I still can't. I can't the rockets? Either. Yeah, the rockets. I love the laser. <laughs> Check out the laser. Just... <laughs> just... Destroys, like, an entire wave of turrets. They don't even get a shot off. Not a kid in the world. See, look at that. I have to zigzag to be able to hit both of those cores. Yeah, you better control. Oh, no. Boo for cycle-based parts. Boo. Boo. I don't like how late those guys spawn. It's so bad. I like the tower blow. Why is the train got to be teasing by now? Happened in the last one, too. Well, the train just wants to be part of the commentary. Both of them? Like, for yeah. real? Look at all the ducky. <laughs> uh, don't remind me. <laughs> no, I seriously, um, I'll probably redo this run at some point. Uh, maybe when Loopy mods a real controller onto a DS. Oh gosh, that would make me so happy. <laughs> um, Those buttons are way too close to one another. They are ridiculously close. 
Wait, that would be a hard one, Mom, though. That wouldn't be very legit, right? Um, but yeah, if I was to redo the run, I'd uh, redo it to uh, get better luck on the oh, stage nine boss. Don't even, <laughs> don't even low percent this. Don't even go there. Uh, I would so low percent this if I had a legitimate controller. Well, I would so do everything if I had a legitimate controller. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this um, this run means a lot to me. It was actually going to be my first speed run for SDA, but uh, until Loopy did his capture device, I was not able to stomach running this game with a webcam pointed at it. But I was really happy that I finally got to, to do it. I'm surprised you didn't do anything like uh, what VG did, like get an actual camcorder and... Well, see, that's... That. That's the thing, though, is with Contra 4, you got to get both screens. Well, you could. You, it, uh, the way he was doing it for his older, or the older DS runs, you can see that they're um, pointed at the entire thing. You can see the entire DS in his hand. Wasn't it, like, in a box or something? I don't know. what It was just finicky. There was a lot of things to do. And that rope climb is crazy. It's, um, well, the other thing is that I have to, I have to actually grip the DS. Like, I cannot just, like, casually hold it. Like, I actually have to grip it to play this game. That's very reasonable, but it also comes with, uh, your glorious D-pad that you have. Yes. D-pad, so strong. So, it's... It's, like, legitimately not feasible to climb... If you're using, like, a DS Lite, for example, it is legitimately not feasible to climb, or at least not that I'm aware of, to climb the vines really fast. Uh, to climb the vines fast, you leap off, and then to leap off, you press opposite direction away and B, and then immediately press forward to grab back on and repeat. It's a lot faster. With the light, there's such a huge dead space. Like, you have no idea how angry I am every time I watch this and I see that happen. I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> Are you talking about that climb earlier? Yeah, on the ropes. Or in stage uh, stage two. That is, like, my least favorite stage of the game. Yeah, those two spots are the two spots where it's that gap is bad. Everywhere else, it's fine. But yeah, like, right here, this climbing... I, I, I seriously don't think you can do that on a DS Lite. It's, so, it's beautiful. I love watching it, but it's like, oh, <laughs> I want to do it. <laughs> like, someone can prove me wrong by doing it, but I think it's just not feasible on a DS Lite. you gotta be, you got to be brutally fast. You're not going to do it near as quickly. Yeah, like, when I first posted, I was kind of, like, newer to SDA, and I'm like, hey, is anyone have any problems with the DS Lite D-pad? And everyone's like, nah, it's fine. It works for me. And then I realized that the people who said that did not play Contra on the DS. No one plays Contra. No, he does. True. Only people of the Contra con uh, the Contra console are the only people that play Contra. Well, that's, that's, enough. Enough. That, that's enough. A lot of people are picking up Contra and Super C too. A lot We're of starting to acquire ourselves a, a cult. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. say that. Besides, <laughs> the persecution complex is the last thing to go. Well, a lot of these people didn't know about us until we contacted them. After finding them with the, with the help of IRC Red Falcon. Yes. Also, join Contra IRC. <laughs> yeah, and if we're starting a cult, I'll bring the Kool Aid. Uh, which uh, client is that on? It's well, IRC. Is that on the, uh, Speed Demos Archive, or is that on um, SRL yeah. client? Yeah, speed demo, currently on the Speed Demos Archive server. Yep. IRC. I don't know if, that is, don't know if that's permanent, though. It will be. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's permanent. Except Hashtag the glory. Contra, right? Hashtag Contra. 
Accept the glory of victory. Are you saying that there is no absolutes? Absolutely. Are you absolutely sure? Nah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that boss there... <laughs> that helicopter never gets old. <laughs> if you're talking about the helicopter, I'm going to talk about the nose. If you actually like pinch together like it was in the Summer Games on Quick video, the nose actually makes a perfect heart. How does the helicopter bore down through the top of the head? That the helicopter's like, oh yeah! <laughs> like oh the yeah! Like the blades on top just crushes through it. Like Kool-Aid. <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah! He was bringing the Kool-Aid. You got offended, kid. That, that's exactly right. Of course, so. Yeah, Black Viper, Red Falcon. What's blue, white, and green gonna be? Blue balls. Orbs. <laughs> They're yeah, orbs, that. dang it. The blue balls of death from Contra 3. They're yeah. orbs, okay? Orbs. Spears. Orbs spheres. or spears? Spheres don't bounce. Orbs don't bounce. They End don't bounce. Spheres. They orbit. They orbit, no. That's not orbit. Yep. They don't orbit around. I gotta anything. go with spears. Okay, they satellites. Bounce. You see... Satellites they can work with. They're like... If you've ever had one of those really old DVD players, and you see, like, the DVD video logo, like, moving around the screen. What is it orbit? That's my question. They move like that. It's what not a bounce. Orbit? There's no gravity. A lot what of the orbit DVD, DVD logos. Well, okay, if there's no gravity, what is it orbiting? What is it orbiting? Yeah. It's orbiting the artificial constructs imposed on the black void. And what makes it orbit if not gravity? What makes it orbit? Um, RNG. <laughs> yeah, science, <laughs> sure. All right. Science. <laughs> I've never seen orbits that are straight lines, though. I'm not either. familiar with that. So, it's because the really, angle you're looking at it looks like it's straight, but it's really. That's a really horrible angle, then. I don't even know how. <laughs> oh, so we're non Euclidean space. I get it. Okay, okay right. he gets it. We're good. All right. <laughs> so, for those who are not sense. familiar with non Euclidean space, the, the break comes. The break comes with one of the fundamental axioms or starting points of geometry. Now, an axiom is a basic assumption that you start out with that you kind of intuitively assume to be true. And the break comes when you've got a line and a point. And standard geometry says that if you're going to draw another line that intersects that point, you can only draw one line that's parallel to the first line. And non-Euclidean geometry says, no, you can draw an infinitely many number of lines. Yeah. SDA, all the education you need. <laughs> <laughs> SDA, science done all right. Oh. And for a math lesson, watch my Contra 3 Death Warps run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. That's like space shuttle math. <laughs> Math is amazing. The more I learn about it, the more I love it. Math is infinite. Thank you. And there are degrees of infinity. George Cantor. Math and beyond. Is, math is the alpha and the omega, literally. So, uh, special thanks to anybody? Bender of Bending Rodriguez? Anton Wiklund. Anyone else have any special shoutouts? Uh, to Mr. K for doing this run. Oh, thank you. Shoutouts to shoutouts. To all of you for watching. All of us for the amazing to commentary. The people that made recording this run possible who modded your stuff. <laughs> Loopy. Yeah, shoutouts to him. Shoutouts to Nate. Report. He made it possible, yeah. Run. That, that, this run means a lot to me, and it's thanks to him that we can do it. So. Loopy! Yep. Peace.